Hello, my name is Ardi, and we are going to solve practice problem 4.1 from Sadiku book. So the question is for the circuit in figure 4.3, find V0 when IS is equal to 30 ampere and when IS is equal to 45 ampere. And here, here is the figure. We have IS, the current source, and three resistor. Okay, maybe. I want to name this node here as node A and this most bottom node here as our ground. So the, so the voltage here will be zero. And let's assume the direction of the current. This is IS which is going in into node A and this will go down and this will go down also. Let's apply KCL at node A. So we'll have KCL at node A. Okay, what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is from this IS. So we'll have IS and all the other currents is going out this current here is va minus zero which is va divided by four so i'll have va divided by four and this current here is va minus zero divided by 12 plus 8 is 20 so i will have plus va over 20 okay now let's make let's multiply both sides by 20 i think yeah let's multiply both sides by 20 so we'll have 20 is 20 is is equal to 5 pa plus pa therefore 20 is is equal to 6 pa but then VA is equal to 20 over 6 multiplied by IS. Okay. Now we are not asked about VA but V0. But then we can apply voltage divider principle here. So we will have V0 is equal to 8 divided by 8 plus 12 multiplied by VA okay this one will be 8 over 20 but VA is this value here so we'll have 20 over 6 multiplied by I S okay that 20 will cancel each other and we will have this 6 and 8 cancel into 3 and 4 Therefore, V0 is 4 over 3 multiplied by IS. So this is the most important thing we need to solve this problem. Why? Because we are given the IS is 30 and IS is 45. And let's do exactly that. So when... IS is 30 ampere. What is V0? So we'll have V0 will be 4 over 3 multiplied by 30. There will be 40 volt, which is the result of the first question here. But when IS is 45 ampere, what is V0? V0 is 4 over 3 multiplied by 45. So we'll have this is, this will cancel into 15. 15 multiplied by 4 is 60. So we'll have 60 volt here. Therefore, we have solved the practice problem for dot 1. We got exactly the same result as desired by the so i think that's all maybe for this video see you in the next video bye bye